Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing another skill building video. This time we're going to be focusing on the toy making skill. I'm going to be using Johnny Zest for this and his toddler daughter that no one knew he had, Melody. Oh, cute, cute. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, there isn't a toy making skill in The Sims 4. Well, you would be right. So I'm using a mod. I've installed a mod that essentially brings back the toy making station from The Sims 2. And I think it's like a whole skill where you start from level one. I mean, it looks a bit different in a sense. Oh, wow, there's lots of options from level one. So yeah, just like any other skill, I think you unlock new toys as you improve. I think the toys themselves are different though. Like you don't have Sir Bricks a lot and the little wiggly octopus. But the mod itself are the animations and the toy making station and it also comes with a load of custom content from other creators. For example, I think the interactable xylophone is on there. So it just introduces a load of new toys that you can craft yourself. So if you like the look of it, I will link it in the video description so you can go and download it for yourselves. But for now, Johnny Zest, I think we've got a toy making skill to grow. So let's start off with some wooden nesting blocks. Why not? I don't know how fast this skill is going to build. I don't know if it builds at the same rate as all the other skills or if it's going to be one of those slow building ones. But it looks like there are plenty of toys at level one to keep us busy until we get to the next skill level. Oh, that's a cute little icon, if not a little bit demonic. That kind of reminds me of something you see in like Five Nights at Freddy's. We've acquired the toy making skill. Johnny's new skill in toy making will allow him to create beautiful and entertaining toys. The higher the skill level, the more advanced types he can create. Ah, oh, cool, cool. And it's looking like we're currently at 8%. It's looking like it builds at about the same rate as all the other skills, which makes me think perhaps we won't even have time to make every t kind of toy. I got some shelves here so I can put all of my little toys on display. And Melody here is our quality control inspector. So she's going to be testing out some of our interactive toys to make sure they're up to snuff. Net right, Melody. Uh-huh. I actually think being a single parent really suits Johnny Zest. Well, Melody's in a pissy mood because of the hot temperature. So tell you what, Melody, why don't you go and nap? Go take a nap. Entertain yourself. We don't have anything for you to inspect right now, okay? Come back later. Oh, I wish you could have made a Sir Bricks a lot. That's, that was kind of an iconic toy, I feel. I remember when I first got The Sims 2 open for business. I got it on Christmas Day and I knew I was going to get it so I spent all of Christmas Eve hardly being able to sleep because I was so excited about playing with that, that game. And it did not disappoint. Sims 2 open for business had everything and more. Everything I could have possibly dreamed of. Oh, we finished making our blocks. Okay, wait, let's pick another toy to make. Um, Llama corn talking toy. Let's make a talking toy and see if it actually works and then we'll see what, what we've got in our inventory here. There we go. So it is literally just, just some wooden bricks and it's doubled in value. It costed 10 simoleons to make them and they're worth 20. That's a good little Victorian toy, I guess. Hopefully we unlock some more colorful toys along the way. Work for Johnny is in one hour. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think we're going to quit our job. This is our job now. Quit job, Johnny Zest. Quit job. And we still haven't got to level two, so we could probably make another level one toy. What should we make? Oh, the train. Gotta be the train. And then we've got our llama corn talking toy. Oh, okay. So this is, um, yeah, we are going to quit. This actually does have color. This is purple, but it looked black and white. It looked wood colored in the, in the list. Yeah. And it just kind of behaves the same as a normal toy. This is just a toy that was already in the catalog, isn't it? We'll get Melody to come out here and do a little bit of stacking, just to check the quality control. And I think as well, as you progress through this skill, you're able to sell it to other people as well. So currently at level one, the only way we can sell toys is through our inventory, or obviously if we had like a retail store or something. But I did read in the, um, the mod notes that once you get to a certain level, I want to say level five, although I might be wrong, once you get to a certain level, you unlock the ability to sell toys directly to either a toy collector or a toy store. And I think the incentive there is that they pay above the odds. Oh, Johnny can now craft colored wooden toys. Oh, that's what we like to see. Toy making level two. 
One of my favourite things to do in The Sims 2 was run a toy store. It was always a toy store. That's the best retail store you can do. So I think I might have to keep this mod installed for a future video. I think we need to run a toy store now that we've got this. All working as you would expect, Melody? No defects? All right, well, you just let me know as soon as you find any kind of defects. We're working as a team here. This is the family business. All right, let's see what we can make now at level two. Oh, we've unlocked three new toys. A pretty pony toy, colored train, and a wooden toy truck. Well, you know what? I think we might actually have the time to make all three of these, so why don't we? Can I queue them up? Can I queue up all three? Yes, I think so. Okay, cool. So he should be making all three of the brand new toys. And then perhaps I'll use my little shelf to pop some of these on display. Is this the little wooden train? Looks a bit miserable, doesn't it? Again, it's like a gift for a Victorian child. No colour, no light. But hopefully our toys will be looking a bit more cheerful from here on in, eh, Johnny? What are we starting with? The pretty pony? We're going to do the pretty pony first? I will say it does look a little out of place because this is obviously looking a bit more like Sims 2 graphics in The Sims 4. So it does, it does look a little bit out of place. But you know what? I don't mind that. I don't mind. It's a nice reminder of the fun I had in The Sims 2. In fact, those are Sims 2 teddy bears right there. Oh, I think our unicorn or pony, pony unicorn is done. Oh yeah, it was a pony. Not seeing anything particularly new. These are all the toys you can get in the Build and Buy catalogue, but I am certain that there are new toys that aren't in the catalogue that we'll be crossing paths with soon. Like this one, the little toy train. It's looking more like a toy, a bit rustic. Looks a little bit worn, but that's okay. Uh, are we still at level two? I think we are, aren't we? Okay, so probably we've got time. We could make a little duck. Melody's got the toddler quirk of aggressive. Oh, we can now create medium-sized woven toys. Okay. Well, you know what? It's actually getting kind of dark outside, not really able to see much. So I think I might just send Johnny to bed once he finishes this toy, and then we'll pick up on the toy making in the morning. Now, night, everyone. All right, quarter to six. Early enough. The sun's out. What toys have we unlocked now at level three? Ooh, a bunny rabbit, a cat, counting frame. Oh, that's quite a lot, actually. Okay, let's see if we can just queue as many of these up as possible. A bunny, a cat, and then maybe, Johnny, while you build that bunny rabbit, I'll put our rubber duck right here. Or is there space on the middle shelf? No, no, as you can see, the middle shelf is completely ram-packed with these four toys. There's absolutely no more room for a single toy. So we better start using the bottom shelf now. I don't want to become a hoarder. Cutting it pretty fine, getting pretty close with this middle shelf though. Although what I might do with the, with the train, I might get our toy tester Melody to come and play, make sure it works. So, so far we've only really built imaginary toys and obviously stacking blocks. But I want to see what other toys we can build that actually add gameplay. Well, the train seems to be a success. It looks a bit weird seeing a child hugging a train as if it's a teddy bear. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what that toy was based off of. But, you know, it does the job, doesn't it? The kids can play with it, they can build their imagination, does what it says on the tin. What should we make now? Maybe a counting frame? I'm not really sure what that is. I'm not sure if that's, a, that's something we already had in-game. Oh, hang on, Johnny's overheating. I might just get him to change, change into his hot weather outfit. Can't be doing with a death on my hands. Not at this stage. Okay, now resume the counting frame. There we go. Now you're fine. Perfect. The kid is also too hot. We'll just get you changed into your summer wear. There we go. So let's see our new toys. Oh, they look brand new. So we have a cat and a rabbit. They're actually kind of cute. I quite like those. They would be cute gifts. They even have the XOXO at the bottom. And I'm guessing if Melody plays with it, it would be basically the same animation, right? I'm gonna assume it's probably gonna look a bit weird when she's holding it. Okay, yeah, so it looks like she is treating the bunny as if it were a car, so that toy, I think, has the playing with car animation on it. Oh, Johnny's finished the other toy. What else can we make? What haven't we done? Oh, we haven't done the penguin. Okay, I think that might be another soft toy. Now, what's this counting frame? Oh, it's, um... That's an abacus, isn't it? Isn't it called an abacus? I'm interested to see how she plays with this. 
Is she actually going to use it like an abacus or is she just going to hold it in the air and wave it around as if it were an imagination toy? Very curious. Okay, it looks like she's just treating it like an imagination toy. Okay, she's not actually sitting down and engaging with it as if it were like an actual abacus. And she's not building any like number skills. It's all imagination. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's always good to have different types of toys, if anything, for the sake of decorating a nursery and making it look more colourful and more varied. But yeah, a lot of these toys, they don't seem to actually operate as anything other than just imagination toys. But I'm sure that I saw some later on, as we progress through the skill, that do add the new toys. Because there are some items that are required for this mod. Like the stacking rings, the xylophone, and I've had those installed in my game before and just used them as objects. And they're all very interactive, they have their own animations. So I think probably as we progress through the skill we'll probably unlock higher quality toys that have their own animations like that. And I think the last thing we have at level 3 is the chibi bear with a heart. Should we take a look at the penguin? Oh yeah, that's already in game, isn't it? I, th I think that's the penguin from Nifty Knitting. All right, well, the cat's been tested. Well, the soft toys have been tested. Where did you put the bunny? In your inventory. All right, this is looking good. We're making a start, making a start in our toy collection. So far, my only options for selling is through my inventory or listing on Plopsy. But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until we progress a bit further in this skill and see if I unlock a different way to sell that I might make a bit more money from. Oh, we're almost at toy making level four. Oh, that's cute. And we've already created everything we unlocked at level three. What do we get at level four, I wonder? Oh, I don't know, because we finished that toy before we actually... Okay, well then let's make um, Mrs. Meowness. Let's just make that while we wait to unlock level four. Oh, there we go. We can now create more plush toys. Okay, okay. So what can we create then? What have we unlocked this time? Oh, only three. A plush pig. A teddy bear. Oh, that looks like a teddy bear from The Sims. <gasps> Sims 2 teddy bear converted. And I think that's the bunny as well. Yeah, that's the bunny as well. Oh, okay, we've got to do the teddy. We've got to do The Sims 2 toys first. And then we'll do the little pig. I noticed none of them have like a quality meter, so I guess there's really no way of fucking it up. Once you hit, once you hit the level requirement, for a specific toy, then they're just guaranteed to come out well, I guess, regardless of what kind of mood your Sims in. So here are our Sims 2 toys, our little conversions. They do look a bit different. I feel like when they were in The Sims 2, I, th I think they were all sat down, weren't they? Oh, they are very sweet though. Do we have space on our shelf for the teddies? Not even on the top shelf? Oh god. These shelves are completely useless. I'm just going to have to start lining these toys up along the floor then. I mean, it's a good range, probably not quite enough to open a toy store, but you know what? We're only at level four, and this is everything we've unlocked so far, so considering we're not even halfway through this skill, this is looking pretty good. I think when we do eventually open a toy store, I think we'll be able to offer quite a range. Oh, and there's our pig. Oh, level five. Johnny can now create Hanoi Tower and the classic teddy bear. They can also sell their craftables to a toy collector. Okay, so for argument's sake, if I try to sell my teddy bear, it would go for 60 simoleons from my inventory. But if I sold it to a collector, oh my god, the toy collector would pay double. Okay, so if you are going to do the toy making skill, it's best not to sell anything until you get to toy making level 5, because they double in value it seems. No option to sell to a toy store yet though. Maybe that just isn't a thing, maybe I imagined that. Okay, so here are our new toys. We've got the, the rings, we've got the stacking rings. Oh, and these two bears are also from The Sims 2 as well. Okay, great. Well, we're going to make all of that. I bet this will end up being quite profitable, actually. I think once you're at, like, the maximum toy creator level, if we make the most prestige toys and sell them all to the collector, I bet you could make some serious money as a toy maker. Okay, I've sped through time a little bit, just so we can work more on our skill. We're at 87% complete of level 5. I have loads of toys in my inventory, but the ones I really wanted to test out well, have a look at, I should say, are the ones we unlock at level 5. So we have the two teddy bears that came with The Sims 2 and then the stacking rings. Now, I don't know. 
I don't know if these act as functional stacking rings or not because they don't look like the stacking rings I used to have. Oh yeah, they look functional. She is actually using them as if they're real stacking rings. So I guess this one does have its own animation. And it looks quite similar. Yeah, okay, so it's a different toy, but it's the same animation from the last stacking rings that I used. Oh, toy making level six. Johnny can now create small doll houses and a large plush bear. Getting quite a collection going on here now, haven't we? Okay, let's make some level six toys then. What do we have? A medieval cottage dollhouse, large plush bear, Will Lloyd Wright dollhouse. So that's the one from The Sims 2, the cottage dollhouse. Okay, so the only one from The Sims 2 is this dollhouse, so we've got to make that one first. This is looking very familiar. Here it is, The Sims 2 dollhouse, complete with sofa, tables, no kitchen and no bathroom though. And then the outside of the house right here. It looks like an antique now, doesn't it? I'm really enjoying this mod. It, I feel like it probably looks so boring because I'm just having a sim stand there and craft things. But this has actually been quite fun to play with. I'm getting good incentive to run a toy store. Um, okay, we'll do the other dollhouses now as well. The medieval one and the cottage dollhouse too. I think what I might do at this point, given that we're getting into the higher skills now, we're working towards skill level seven, and we're unlocking a few new toys as we go. I think what I might do now is just take a look at all the new toys that we unlock and then see if I can just breeze through until we get to the next skill point. Otherwise, this video might be a bit too long and a bit too repetitive. So we have our large plush bear. Fucking hell, that is large, isn't it? God, and it, it floats in the air as well. How impressive. And then we have our two new doll's houses. Quite simple, quite basic design, although they don't seem to have an inside. Not as open plan as your typical doll's house. But there we go, these are the four toys you get at level six. So with that in mind, I'm gonna get Johnny to power through to level seven and then we'll see what we unlock there. Oh, level seven, Johnny can now create commercial toys. Oh no, he's feeling sad because he's unemployed. Okay, what if, um, can I just register you as self-employed then, and that way you won't feel so sad and ambitious-less. Okay, we'll register with the Ministry of Labour as a toy maker. There we go. No, you're not unemployed anymore. So let's see what you've unlocked, what commercial toys we can do now. Oh, I see, Pikachu, Mickey Mouse, and Baby Yoda. Oh, I understand why they call it commercial toys now. All right, well, let's do one of each. We'll do Pikachu, Mickey the Mouse, and then once we get done doing Michael, we'll do Baby Yoda. I think Pikachu might be quite small. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's not that small. He's bigger than the teddy bears. His little icon make him look tiny. But that's quite a big toy. Hey, Melody, you want to do some quality control? Okay, Mickey has been done. So now we will polish this off with a little bit of Baby Yoda. Let's take a look at Mickey. Oh, wow, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm guessing it acts like Blarfy. Yeah, okay, it acts just kind of like one of those big teddies that you can interact with. I wonder if you slap him around if he'll end up with closed, sad eyes. Okay, Yoda's done. I wonder how big Yoda's gonna be. Oh, not massive. There he is. That would be a great gift for, like, a, a nerdy sim or sci-fi buff. Right, well, those are the toys you unlock at level 7. So for the time being, I'm just going to have Johnny make a few toys until we get to level 8 and see what we unlock there. I have a massive inventory of so many toys. And to think at the beginning of this, I questioned whether we would even have the chance to make one of everything. We're pretty close to level 8 now. What are we on? Oh, 100%. So, we're yeah, there we go. We can now create a toy telephone, toddler drums, and a xylophone. Yeah, still only unlock the ability to sell to toy collector. I don't think there was an option to sell to a toy store. Maybe I just imagined that. Oh, professional from being a skilled toy maker. Only a master of toy making can have such amazing focus. So we've got four new toys. Well, two different xylophones, a toddler drum, and a... Uh, oh, two drums and a telephone. Okay. So we have five new toys then. That's the first mood buff I've seen for this entire mod. I'm thinking what I might do is I might actually refrain from selling any of these toys. I might just keep them in my inventory. Even though I can sell them to a toy collector and make more money, I do really like the idea of having a toy shop and the amount of time it would take to hand make an inventory of this size. 
I kind of feel like probably we would be better off just sticking it all in Johnny's inventory and then maybe for another video opening up a toy shop and selling all of our crafted items. Maybe we'll move Melody's shitty nappy over there. Oh, although there's nothing in his personal inventory, I wonder if the stuff we built has now moved into the home inventory because that's how big it is. Let's have a look. Maybe make it a little bit lighter. There we go. Oh yeah, it's all gone into the home inventory now. Okay, I might just get Johnny to work on making some more toys and then I'm gonna, as soon as the toddler wakes up in the morning when it's a bit brighter outside, I'm gonna have her test out these new toys. Okay, it's a bit brighter out today, so let's play with our xylophone. Take a look at how good it looks. Okay, there we go. We're actually playing with our toys now. I love these interactive toys. One of my favourite ones to use is the little toddler chef cooking station. And I did see that that was a requirement. Oh, I guess the drums act the same as the xylophone then, I'm guessing. Oh, Johnny can now create riding horses, toy kitchen and a large doll's house. So that's what I was just saying. The chef kitchen for toddlers was a requirement for this mod, which makes me wonder whether you can actually make these. Oh! Well, you can, but it looks like a completely different recolor. It looks like a completely different toy here. But we'll get Johnny to make it. We'll see how it looks. It looks like there isn't any separate animation for the drums. Melody's, I mean, she's got the little drum sticks, but she's basically playing it like a xylophone. And it's playing a xylophone sound. Is the telephone the same? <gasps> what is this? Play telephone. Call Father Winter. Imaginary friend and call your favorite cartoon character. Oh, we have to take a look at that. Is she actually gonna pick the phone up and start talking to it? Oh, that is the cutest little thing. She's babbling as well. She's dialing the numbers, pressing the numbers on the phone. I wonder if she'll get a mood buff for playing with the telephone. Usually kids get a mood buff when they're playing with like the xylophone or something, but I don't think she has any yet. It looks like there's a voice on the other end as well, which is a bit creepy. It looks like it's playing some kind of voice when she's on the phone. Oh, she does have a mood buff, playing f playful. I'm a grown-up, answering phone calls, pushing buttons and talking on the phone. Looks like Melody has some serious business to attend to. Oh, how cute. Right, Johnny, did you finish your kitchen station? Because you still have a few new things to make, like a wooden rocking horse and a plastic rocking horse. So I think we'll give them a go and then we'll take a look at the cooking station. I kind of already know how that goes down because I've played with it before. But it does look different. The look, this looks a little bit more basic than the one I've used before. And here's the wooden rocking horse. It looks like it has a separate animation because you've got the option to nap and ride on it. Oh, it even sinks into the ground. Look at that. And it's building up her imagination skill. And this is the plastic one. Although it kind of looks like it could be a wooden one because it's not that colourful. It's coloured like wood. And it looks like the interactions are pretty much the same. So I'm going to get Johnny to... Let's see if we can max out that skill and then see what we unlock at toy making level 10. Oh, also, I just noticed we got this princess castle from level from toy making level 9. I just didn't notice it before because it was in my inventory and not the household inventory. That's cute. Pretty sure this is the same as the one you get in game anyway, with the little goth house interior. But we are so close, we are on the brink of finding out what toy you unlock at the maximum toy making skill level. <gasps> We've mastered the toy making skill. Johnny is now a master toy maker. He can now also mentor other Sims in toy making, sell their products at a toy store, and create new spring toys. Oh, I do have the option to sell them at a toy store, but they're like, huh, really low prices. What's the point? Who would, who would go for that? Who would sell them to a toy store for that price when I can sell them to a collector for much more? Well, let's see what toy we've unlocked now. A spring frog, spring llama, spring horse, and a spring bunny. Oh, okay, like playground toys. Okay, I can't afford to make any of those, so probably I should start selling some of this shit. So let's sell that to a toy collector. Mickey, I'm sorry mate, but you also have to go. The doll's house will sell that. We'll try and, try and sell some high value items. This one can go to a toy collector. Okay, we should have enough now to make our brand new toys. I'm guessing they're all going to behave exactly the same. So this is the spring toy. It looks terrifying, but it looks like it works the same way that the rocking horse does. So I guess we're just going to climb on and rock back and forth. Yeah, there we go. Could populate my parks with that. It doesn't look uh, that steady though. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any accidents, but yeah, I could definitely put that in a little play park for the toddlers to enjoy. 
Well, I guess that is what happens when you max out the toy making skill in The Sims 4. I think we've built quite a collection of toys. I think the only logical step from here is to open up a toy store, which I fully intend to do. But I think I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.